straight shooter. Oh, yeah. I yeah, mean, is there those. any other way? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. In the early 90s, she summoned Snoop, Tupac Shakur, and rap mogul Suge Knight to her home promptly at 7 a.m. We show up at our door by like 6.52. Because we want to be on time. Not much scares us, but this got us shook. Now, that is the power of Miss Dion right there. Well, it's just the power of respect. That's real? That's what that is. And of wanting to gain knowledge. Yeah. And I think they did. Since the rappers refer to women as the B word in their music, Dion told them to call her that to her face. She came in and started saying all of that, like using our lyrics against us. These little girls don't have tails and they don't walk on four legs. So why are you calling them what you're calling them? You need to change, you know, your lyrics and because you're going to be a father one day. And they promised that they were going to start curtailing the way that they were presenting themselves on recordings. I just imagining you on the couch surrounded by <laughs> Snoop and the crew. That's right. Now, they didn't bring no herbal essences into the house, please. Did they? Yeah, you know better than that. <laughs> you didn't have to ask that question, did you? That day at Dion Warwick's house, I believe we, we got our gangster that day.